You wanna know how to get the scratches off your grill? Bam, this right here worked perfect. I got gold with everything. Million dollar mine, mine. Whole lot of chain, chain. Doing everything. Got my chain, gang, playing down. Flexing up the chain down. Flame will make it change down. Just try to stay the same. Got my whip on the thing. What up, what up, YouTube? This your boy HP. You know what I mean? We back in the game, babes. This time I'm showing y'all how to polish your grill up with this little, um, Harbor Freight little drill kit. It got like some little polishing things in there and some little sanders and all that stuff. I'm gonna be showing y'all how to get them scratches off your gold grill. You wanna know how to get the scratches off your grill? Bam, this right here worked perfect. Y'all gotta excuse the, uh, trucks and stuff going past. I stay next to it like a, uh, a trucking company where they deliver, uh, well, they don't deliver, they sell like, well, they don't sell them. They actually have like empty, uh, truck, uh, trailers that they rent out to people to do their jobs that they have to do. So a lot of that noise y'all be hearing around in the background, it'd be a lot of that from uh, those empty truck trailers going past and all that stuff. Sorry for the um, loud noises and stuff. I know y'all probably been paying attention to that and been hearing it inside my uh, my vlogs and stuff. Anyway, I'm gonna let y'all see how to polish up your grill and that's it, you feel me? But anyway, this the kit you gonna need. Uh, I use this stuff right here for the gold polish because you, once you wet it and you wipe it down on the golds, once you wet it and wipe it down on the grill, it leave like the stuff that's in here to help clean it. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know what it is. I guess it's like gold polish. And so once we get it, once we get it wet and put it on there, then we'll be using this to buff it. Now, mainly what we're doing with this stuff is to get the scratches out and to do like a nice little clean and all that stuff. All right? So, let's get started. I guess just like to brush off the dust or whatever once you're done. Some more grinding wheels, but they more smaller. Sanding slash grinding wheels, I guess. I don't know. Uh, these are, um, I forgot exactly what they call these. But they made to like, I forgot. I can't even think of it right now, but I got to move on. Anyway, all right. These the buffing wheels. This is what we finna be using right here. A little sanding stone, I guess. I don't know what the hell that is. I don't know what a lot of this shit is, but I know how to use it. And so, this the thing you're gonna be using for your buffer wheel right here. So, and this is what you use for the sander. They should let me use this for the sander. Cause this thing, when you put your buffer wheel on there for some reason, it keeps spinning off. So anyway, we're gonna be using a small wheel. All right. Let's go and drill that in there. So 
It's supposed to look like that. And all the rest of this stuff we're gonna put up to the side. Let's see. Oh yeah, we gotta get the right bit piece to fit it. So I'm assuming this the one. Either this one or this one. All right, we're gonna use this. I think both of them the same size. It just gave you an extra one. All right, we're gonna put this stuff to the side because we're not gonna be using this. Keep them right there because we might need those. All right. Big shout out to everybody that's liking and subscribing, man. If you haven't subscribed yet, go on and subscribe to your boy channel. Help me get these views up. Finally got monetized. Now I just gotta keep everything rolling. Oh, you press this button down right here. Just unscrew this. Put the new piece on there, like that. All right, that's that. Let's plug him up. All right, y'all, let's get it banging. Let's see what we got here. All right, that's how it works. All right, so what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be polishing up the grill. You see the back, I got the back back dingy again, much as I could. This the inside, all right? And we got the inside of this one, and we got the back dingy again. Now, how you get your um the stuff to tarnish like this, how I usually get it to tarnish, I cleaned the front of it because I had wood, but I ain't cleaned the back of it. Uh, all you have to do is like eat something with a lot of salt in it, like um, eat some chips, drink some juices and some sodas and shit, and it'll get that tarnish look on there, all right? So, and let it sit for a couple of days. It's gonna be tarnished for sure. All right, so. Let's get started. First, we take one of the whites. Remember I told y'all how to cut the whites up? See, I got my different sections. I got these and I got the two smaller sections. All right, just need one of those. Now, this is my first time doing this too, but I had done this before. But what I used to do, I used to use like a remote control car, take a sock, like a baby sock or something like that, and cut it and put it over the wheel and uh, put the car on full blast, get something like you can use to polish it with. Like I used to use like toothpaste. You can use toothpaste too to polish uh, or any type of any type of metal cleaner. Uh, at first I was using like Brasso, but after you finish using Brasso, you gotta boil your grill. You can't just put it in your mouth. You I let that one boil you for a long time. Rinse, rinse the pot out, put it back in there, and let it boil you again, just to stop the brass off from getting in your mouth because you don't want to get sick from having that type of uh, cleaner. And then you still gotta uh, hit it with the toothbrush and all that. All right. So, like remember what I said, if you use brass, so make sure you boil your teeth because if you don't, possibly get sick. Okay. All right. So what we doing is right here is getting the little juices off of the um. Out the go rack. I, mean, I dipped it in some water. Dip this in some water like this, and you just put the little juice in. You know what I mean, you are gonna see it's gonna be like some little white stuff. All right, take the little grinding wheel, turn it on. Now look, you can see it. Let me get a up close. Hold up. Let's zoom in. All right, now that's the little spot I just cleaned right there. See how fast they clean it? It cleans it really fast, like. And then you can tell it's working when you start seeing this stuff on the on the uh, on the wheel. So I don't know, I keep pressing that button on mistake, but anyway. Cut it off. Now you see how dirty that is right there? Can you see it? Alright, we're gonna be You don't have to press down real hard.
right, y'all, that's pretty much it. When I say it got every single scratch out of there. Wow. That is crazy. Shit, I don't even want to wipe it with this napkin. I'm afraid I might get it scratched up. Mm. It's not a scratch in that motherfucker. All right, this the before. This the after. Yeah, man, so like I said, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. It's your boy HP, you know what I mean? Doing big things. Just not starting to get a little YouTube money, but hey, I ain't made enough yet to cash out. We just not getting out there. I want to give a big shout out to everybody that's subscribing, everybody that's liking the videos. And hit the like button, man. Thank you. What up, what up, YouTube? This your boy HP, you know what I mean? We in the booth, got my boy Neff in the building, you feel me? Yeah, that's how we doing it, man. We finna record this little verse and shit. You know what I mean? Something special, you feel me? Get this shit banging, got the headphones on, got the jewels on. I ain't got my grill in right now, but... Hey, it's a time for it, and it's time. It's a time for it. <laughs> you feel me? All right, well, we should record this track, man. I'm gonna let y'all see what we banging, man. All right, y'all can't really hear nothing because he in the booth and stuff right now, so it ain't gonna be all loud. All right, we recording on this one. You ready? All right. Let's hit that record, man. Open up another track. Let's see. My no. Wow, right, you ready? Yeah, what up? We back in this bitch, man. You know what I mean? What it do? What it do, what it man? Do? Yeah, so we did the little verse and everything. I'm gonna let y'all check it out, man. Yeah. You know what I mean, just like the edit version. This, this, this is the raw version right here, you know what I mean? Let y'all see what's real, what's real in the cramp, you know what I mean?
mean? That's why we got that shit banging out here, boy. HP squad in this bitch, nigga, you know what I mean? Got them hatin' ass niggas on my vlog, man. Hatin' this shit, you feel me? Hey, hey, hey. But they say haters make it greater, man. Oh, yeah, Bring it on. You feel me? Hey, shout out to all my motherfuckers that's leaving them positive comments, though, you feel me? That's what we need in this game, you feel me? Fuck these haters, man. We don't fuck with them, you feel me? We in New York, got my peoples in this bitch. That's how it's banging, man. Day one. Day one. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's how we get down. This boy, young Nip. My big bro. <laughs> Came through, man. Do this, what we do. This is what we do, man. Ain't no faking, man. <laughs> hey, hey, cause we be doing big things, getting big change. Everybody know day one, no lane. I'm getting brain in the road, on the road, man. Freestyle from the back of the door, man. <laughs> Hold up, let me get it, rip it while we spit it. He on the camera. I'm like, okay, bruh, see me shine black, what I like, but he rock the gold, man, we be cold, when it comes to the flow, pockets full of dough, dough. man, that's a lot, I don't got no dough, I got plastic dough, oh, oh hey. bro, what you know, though, <laughs> came through, 618 to the mold, take him to the truck for show, hey, yeah, okay. I know. That's how we do it in this beat, man. You know what I mean? Niggas like fuck with us in this game, man. Yeah.